Hi everyone. So, um, for my pages, oh, I'm thinking out loud. Uh, trying to go to invent or don't invent, which is a page I have that I created. And within it, there is a bunch of inventions, ideas that I, um, kind of like this thought of and that put together and in here somewhere if I do the find oh yeah our mission boom right in front of me so right here it says invent or don't invent and I have Right here, it says um, invent or don't invent website, invention, evolution, and then I put homes, houses, you know, we used to live in caves, stick home, and you know, what it is today. And what, what I didn't specify, I, I don't think, in this, apart from the inventions, <sighs> I think I might have gone. Um, yeah, right here, the invention uh, patents and And stuff like that so basically I have this other thing here that I got from apple.com and basically in the 1950s this was the skateboard here in 1960 the skateboard 1970 1980 1990 and then all the way to now but but they didn't specify what they fail to specify is like futuristic type of stuff so like futuristic like uh let's go to homes so those will those will also be displayed on the right side column so you know what it is now and then, like, fantasy, Photoshop, like a vision board. Um, what it could be, that type of thing. You know, for people to dream and think of different concepts, different ideas. And that goes with just about every other invention out there. There's car transportation, bridges, a bunch of other things, right? And then like, for like the bridges, you know, the futuristic type bridges could be uh, electricity, like the Halo game. It could be I think like the Thor movie. I don't know. I remember watching one. And it was powered by electricity. And I actually was doing research on um, like like Halo electric bridge right here and then there is also the halo 
electric shield. So this is a uh, pretty much electric um, shields, armor, stuff like that, right? So this type of concept of or ideas can be added to inspire people and to give people ideas. And looking back will also inspire people that you know things are not you know permanent things are always changing progressing that way we could all have a sense of hope And we could all dream and think of stuff. So yeah, there's the Halo Light Bridge. That's what it is called there. Halo Light Bridge from Halo. And, you know, there's a few other examples here about that. You know, the computers and all that stuff. So, you know, that way, if, say, for example, you're looking into inventing something, you can, be, you can go to your specific category, whatever category that might be. And, you know, there's categories here. Or you would just search one, whether on the internet or somehow. And then somehow you'll get a list like this where it'll show, you know, it'll have maybe uploaded images of kind of like how you guys seen here with in the 19... 50s, 1960s, 1970s, 1980s, 1990s, 2000, 2010, 2020, you know, that type of concept. That way, if you click on it, maybe it'll show you more, you know, like this, like Google or something like that. Um, I just don't know how to build a website or else I would do it and create something like this but um yeah like it, it could even have like futuristic stuff uh, current invent uh, products that are available like I mean I don't know there, there's so so many um, ideas out there But that way, we can have different people photoshopping different stuff, coming up with different ideas, different solutions, you know, different concepts that maybe other people haven't even thought of. So I think it's very important.
Like here, I basically uploaded my own. I did my own ideas, whether they're good or not. You know that that's not what matters. That's just what I thought. And there's different people out there with different ideas. I mean, I can show you guys a few, like the powerless, powerless gate opener. I don't know why I named it powerless, but it would need to be powered by something. Um, oh my God. Basically here, what I was trying to do or think of was like a, um, kind of like a, uh, let me see what I have here. So basically I recorded a video already pretty much discussing this. But um, that was in August 3rd, 2019. But now I think that it would have to have some form of solar panel with a gearbox. And then over here where it's latched, basically you would just click a button on your in your vehicle and it will unlock it and it'll open it for you. And then it'll close back up and lock by itself. So this will be for, you know, for the outside. That was the idea. I was kind of thinking for that. Simple idea, straightforward. This one I thought was pretty cool because everything's so automatic with vehicles. So I thought that this rail guard thing would be great if it went inside of the truck and then in in the back like in between and then it'll come back out by a, by a click of a button so that'll be like futuristic type of um truck rails or whatever you want to call them Futuristic diapers, baby diapers, notification technologies. I don't know. I just wrote that, um, and I put like the yellow line on the diaper here. Notice images. It will be an evident sign that the baby has used the restroom. Kind of the kind of testing water test or swimming pool water testers. The waistline can have can change colors to advise the guardian poop meter progress bar here p meter progress here progress bar here so whether the baby pooped or peed it would it will show you the differences and that for nursing mothers can be developed to monitor healthy or non-healthy symptoms and aim for the overall health of every child in the world. So that would be like a futuristic diaper there. Um, I just thought about this idea. I wrote it down. Uh, May, Friday, May 1st, 2020 at 6.49 p.m. Basically, I was thinking about a sun visor but being like see how it is right here but instead of it being visible like this it will go into the vehicle how it is here so I can technically pull this out
and then okay so So this here will be the windshield of the, the driver and then kind of you know and then this here will be this so basically you'll pull it pull it out and then that'll be your sun visor right there. And if we want to, we could even give that a different color. See that? So it won't be like this. So obviously, it would have to drop a little bit like this. It would have to come out. So this can slide into and then eliminating all this hardware and then it will just retract it will go in when not in use and then it'll go out when someone wants to use it so basically yeah it, it would be that simple for um, for these things here and then the other one is right here right these sun visors so now that I edited that I guess I go, I can always add it to my um, let me see let me cancel that real quick oh yeah I could I just upload it there I could post that see that's all it is that goes there that type of technology and this I don't know um, mm, yeah I wasn't really I wasn't really talking crap on any idea out there or existing products or whatever I just try to keep it professional and I uploaded that you know I think the best one would be this one the pixel resolution idea um, for NASA and eventually for all of us but it's straightforward you would just have to go look at that yourself and that is like the best one so far yeah and I just upload whatever comes to my mind this one both a lethal and non-lethal weapon
there's this one so you want to have to keep cutting your plants it will just do it by itself like a robot robotic planner type of idea What about food? A lot of people enjoy these. So I made a product basically with all these bagged up in different little pouches and sold as a package. So they can easily open it and mix it together on the go and bam. And I was thinking that these would sell great where they sell the alcohol in the alcohol section and there's a bunch of other ideas but anyway the the main concept here was to add the the futuristic type of stuff on the right side and not just leaving you know the old or revealing just the old stuff to the current now like uh, this image that I found on apple.com you know and then it just it says now and then I was even thinking where people can you know just post ideas and maybe even write a you know the problem the solution all this stuff and basically submitting it to the you know online and creating like you know poor man patent ideas you know so like this one oh basically I just created a concrete cardboard lights for commercial and a residential use Basically, it would just be you walking into the store, buying a light like this, but without the cement. So you won't, or the person won't have to carry all this weight. They'll just put it down wherever they want it and then fill it with concrete. And it will be like this, like super light duty. You know, it won't be so heavy. It will be easy. For shipping costs and a bunch of other a bunch of other things that that a lot of people would would like and appreciate um, and this one I uploaded on Tuesday January 14th 2020 at 9 2 p.m. see so it shows the day the time so you know, legally, if anyone tries to, you know, say that they came up with an idea or whatever, then you could use this in your favor. Because whether you're using a patent, a patenting uh, company or whatever, you know, they're going they're going to be doing paperwork online, which will reveal when the information was submitted or not submitted so basically it will reveal the truth and you know the credit will go to the to the right people or the right person and you know people are always patenting stuff and people always sell their patents so only because someone comes up with a great idea that doesn't mean that you know, people can't negotiate and people can't, you know, go in and, and, you know, offer deals and stuff like that. You know, so that's the great thing about getting involved in all this. And a lot of this stuff, I was really inspired by, by uh, the Shark Tank.
right here. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this, but um, there's YouTube videos. Bidding, budding, oh, budding into entrepreneurs get the chance to bring their dreams to fruition in this reality show from executive producer Mark Burnett, Brunette, Brunette, Brunette. They present their ideas to the sharks in the tank, five titans of industry who make their own dreams a reality and turn their ideas into lucrative empires. The contestants try to convince any one of the sharks to invest money in their idea. When more than one of the sharks decide they want a piece of the action, a bidding war can erupt, driving up the price of the investment. So, yeah, a lot of people got helped. There was a lot of creative ideas by, you know, various people out there different products so by doing this it will basically create an online you know social media type of platform or it could be like um, what's the word uh, interactive like you know where where people can leave comments like it dislike it they can rate it you know that type of concept would be great um also a lot of inventions are inspired by nature i don't know if this is if these are actually how these were inspired by these animals but a lot of people have invented and in, you know things by looking at nature observing nature you know look, examining animals dead animals whatever like this one I, I wrote alligator mouth but because the alligator clips but you know that could have been inspired by like a you know by something else the shark mouth uh, was the saw saw teeth for cutting wood <laughs> but um you know i just threw that in there i was i was just thinking brainstorming and i kind of you know just threw that in there so yeah i think like even all this type of um professional type of stuff here can be added and you know the tools can be provided for people to learn like there's photoshop and a bunch of other things like photo editing apps or whatever so people can you know really get into this and create ideas for each other for the future because ultimately that's what it really comes down to you know it's us creating ideas for each other that way when we're out there doing life or whatever you know we can have the best of the best and we can provide each other with cool stuff Whoa, is this a boat? I think this is a boat. Wow, this stuff is amazing. See, like this is like futuristic stuff, you know? And that's what it's all about. You know, so... You know, like everything else we have, there's a lot of inventions and you know what 
I might be interested, you might not be interested. And what you're interested in, I might not be interested in, you know? And that's the great thing about doing all this because now real um, investors can come on a platform like this and search for their type of category that they're interested in. And then they could even look at other people's ideas. And then if they like them, they could decide to invest in them, to buy them out. Um, or stuff like that, you know, and, you know, like even kids could do this and they could become millionaires. So like we could even type like kids who became millionaires, um, through the I was going to say to the internet, but and then Shark Tank appeared. See, like there's a bunch of them already right there um, on the videos. Yeah, I don't know. The 13-year-old entrepreneur encounters two sharks, whatever. So she became a, uh, what was it, a millionaire. Um, you know, there's other results. Shark Tank, your live kid premiere edition. I don't know, they came up with something. These people really made it. So in the same way, this can be a way to patent stuff without actually having the money, um, without any help, practically. You would just come on here, you know, sign up or something. Like, I don't have a website or anything, but I'm just talking, like, in general. Like, if, you, if this was invented already, like, the website like this, um, and... You know, like all the tools were, were provided where you could write all this information down and really file a patent and maybe even use that to your benefit to go out there and seek investors. Because there's a lot of websites um, for invention, patent... I think there's even like U.S. or something, U.S. patent or something, but all these supposedly like all these um, companies, you know, will help you, I think, invention patents for 200 bucks, you know, so they are kind of costly and some people just don't have the money for all that and some of some people's parents are not wealthy like that either. So <clears throat> there's also like invent help or something like that. Invent help. I don't know how, you know, like trusted this website is or whatever. But, you know, like they kind of give you a formula to follow or whatever but I don't know how how great it is honestly I never filed a patent invention services get started virtual invention presentation prototype model invention patent referrals Virtual invention, browsing, experience, virtual invention, invention presentation is basically what I am referring to with this. You know, like when when I go to my images, 
or whatever my photos and I came up with like say this one that's like a presentation type of thing even though it's not professional looking like this you know and I would click on this but then YouTube will probably flag my my, my video when I upload it on YouTube or and or Facebook I don't know but um prototype model see it could even have like complicated or more advanced uh, I mean more advanced features like this will be which will be super cool as well you know and then inventor resources patent information invent help newsletter archives invention trivia helpful links new invention ideas invention stories for companies see like even invention stories that could be like watching the shark tank episodes and stuff like that just to be inspired contact invent inventor information request form employment media outlets but yeah there's a lot of stuff out there you know you just have to take the time to really uh, go through it and research and stuff like that and you know I think by posting ideas like this on a website that would be created specifically for that would be super cool because you would just be able to upload them and you know you can leave them like that and other investors can go on there and offer you deals or offers to buy the patent off of you or something like that you know if they're interested or you could have it on standby for a future presentation with other investors like in your local area or whatever you know so I think something like that would be super cool and awesome and um, I understand that a lot of this is you know fairly new especially the internet and um, you know there's a lot of sharks out there you know and I'm not talking about the shark tank but I, I mean there's a lot of people out there who like to steal other people's ideas you know and honestly you know the the Bible and basically all I did is I opened up my photo booth as I'm recording with my QuickTime player I'm recording now right here but if you click on photo booth that's how you can get this screen thing but anyway I was thinking about the scripture that says um, the thief comes to steal kill and destroy you know, he wants to steal whatever you want to offer the world. Or they just want the money for themselves. They want the credit for themselves. You know, the, and there's people out there like that. So by us doing something like this, it will protect everyone. You know, um, the thief goes around the gate or over the gate scripture I don't know it was, I remember um, reading a oh right here a scripture like that John chapter 10 verse 1 it says I tell you the truth anyone who sneaks over the wall of a sheepfold rather than going through the gate must surely be a thief and a robber 
So this was Jesus speaking, I believe, in the New Testament. See, so, you know, you could be hanging out with millionaires right now, billionaires. And who knows, they could have stolen that idea from someone else that gave them the idea. That didn't have the money, the resources, the luxury, the support to get it to the level that they got it because they have money. And they're over there just acting. Oh, hi, how you doing? They just got lucky. Right? That Because anyone can have money and fucking do whatever the fuck they do. Right? They're not, they're not more special than anyone else. They're not more mentally gifted than all of us in the world. We're all the same. You know? So, you know, so don't let, like the, there's another scripture that says, don't let, don't let no one despise your youth. First Timothy chapter four verse twelve says, Let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word and manner of living, in charity and spirit, in faith and purity. You know, so there there's a lot of you know scriptures and Remember, remembering that the enemy is out there trying to steal, kill, and destroy your hopes, your dreams. You know, a lot of this stuff, you know, obviously I'm just having fun. I'm creating different things. I'm just posting it. Um, but it is an idea. It is an idea that could be sold. It is a concept. It is a poor man's patent. And all of it's here. And, you know, not all of my ideas are great ideas. You know, I, I thought about a lot of stuff. Like this one for the screen, window screen replacement idea. A lot of people are struggling with, you know, Putting a screen on. I thought about it like this. Like a lid. On a. Like a. Food lid thing. Where. You would just put the screen over. And then just close it. And your screen will be done. You just snap some things together. And just put the screen back up on your window. No more patching. No more struggling. No more buying. Special fucking tools whatever and this one um i basically posted this one on saturday october 13th 2018 at 12 22 p.m so see like say i was like a little eight-year-old kid and i came up with my ideas you know i would be able to post them and the rest of the world would be able to see that. And it wouldn't matter if maybe, you know, I got older, like 20 years passed. So now I'm 28, right? But that's still there. So and then I, I come to the realization, wait a minute, I came up with an idea like this. You know, maybe I could take it to court. Maybe... I don't know, maybe I could look it up on the internet. Maybe the internet can assist or or give people credit. Kind of like a class action. You know, and, and maybe people can get support and help in that way. I don't really know. You know, not everyone knows everything. Not everyone knows the law and everything that's in the law. Not everything, not everyone knows every industry out there there's so many industries there's so many things it's ridiculous you know and most people just have the the help 
that other people wish they had. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of a lot of uh, ideas that I posted on here, and um, you know, ultimately is just to help us all, and for all of us to have good things in this life. And of course, we can't really do anything without money. We need money to be able to do things in this life. You know, so of course it's like, fuck all of you. You know, when when you know you're a fucking genius, when you know that you are trying to offer something great to the world and you don't have the money, you know, sometimes you just have to stop being kind and... You know, you have to somehow take what's yours. You have to take your fucking birthright. You know, because the enemy would devour you. There's other people that will try to go around the system, the paperwork. They'll twist it and churn it. You know, that's why I believe that God provided the internet to us for a reason. The internet is so important. Above everything else. So. You know. Don't. Don't stop. Dreaming. Don't stop thinking. You know. Keep posting ideas. And. Um, yeah. Like. Just write them down. Talk about them. And be inspired. By other people's ideas, other people's ways of thinking, their creativeness, and all that. It's, it's just amazing stuff. It's amazing stuff. So, anyway, if you guys want to go visit the page, it's Invent or Don't Invent on Facebook. I created it. it it's, not a for, it's not a for-profit business or anything like that. It's, it's really a non-profit type of thing, but it, it's what it is really is just me posting my ideas on the like on the post section or in, under the photos, and I just create a new album when I have a new idea, so you can look at all of them. But all of them are not like that. I didn't start off like that. Some of them I posted on the home, and I just wrote it as a comment or as a post whatever create a post so it's in there somewhere you know I thought about a cell phone gun I thought about futuristic homes so yeah anyways I'm gonna end this video